Economists project a slight improvement for purchases in 2023. NAR messes with Texas, and PropLogix needs more title pros to take their survey. From PropLogix, these are your top four stories in real estate this week. Shameless plug, our first story this week starts with a bit of self-promotion. Each year, PropLogix surveys closing professionals about their biggest challenges and standard practices around title production. We're donating $5 for each response we get to the Alta Good Deeds Foundation, and our goal this year is $500, and we're so close. If you're a title professional, we'd love to get your feedback. Just head to stateoftitle.com to take the survey. In many markets, we're seeing a slowdown, but there may be an end in sight. Well, sort of. The Mortgage Bankers Association predicted on Tuesday that there will be a modest 4% jump in the purchase market next year. Refinances, however, are expected to drop even further, leading to an overall mortgage market drop. Over 90% of home sellers this year accepted some buyer-friendly terms, such as repairs based on inspection results, signaling a return to normal for negotiations on both sides of the transaction. Nearly a third of sales included dropping the price of a home because it didn't meet the appraisal or paying for some or all of the buyer's closing costs and even adding flexibility on the timeline for closing. Brokers and agents in Texas take issue with the National Association of Realtors' ban on pocket listings. NAR says all homes must be on the MLS within one day of marketing it to the public. In Texas, it's common practice for a seller to ask an agent to keep a listing off the MLS. This way, they can avoid reassessments and possible property tax hikes, which benefit both buyers and sellers where the deal is concerned. NAR says the rule exists to prevent unfairness. Ultimately, it will be up to local associations to interpret and enforce the rule. That's it for four stories. The news doesn't end here. Follow PropLogix on social media, subscribe to the show on any of your favorite podcast platforms, watch behind-the-scenes footage on YouTube, and shoot us an email at 4.stories at proplogix.com to let us know what you think. See you soon.